Joining us now from Washington is CBS News aviation consultant Mark Rosenker, a former chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, Chris. Uh, millions of people all around the world getting on planes today. How concerned should passengers be about something like this? Well, this is a serious and disturbing trend, and unfortunately, it's growing. The more of these devices that get out there, the more potential for abuse that can happen. We saw last year that the number of incidents reported had doubled in just one year's time. Uh, should we consider ourselves lucky that there hasn't been a, a catastrophe? Well, again, when you're talking about the millions and millions of operations that go on every day, uh, in comparison, there's still a small number. But unfortunately, this number is growing and could create a serious incident or even an accident. You know, we're looking at some images, and we saw, saw a number of images in Elaine's uh, piece a few moments ago. But just to describe what the pilot is going through, sitting in the cockpit, whether it's on uh, takeoff or approach, what exactly is going on in that cockpit when this, when this light comes through? Well, the takeoff and landing procedures are, are really critical uh, phases of flight. So you want to make sure that the uh, crew is focused on what it's supposed to be doing. And unfortunately, when these lights uh, are illuminated inside the cockpit, and most of the time that's in the evening, they are really uh, in some way, shape, or form distracting the, the pilot. In many cases, they, they are clearly not expecting it, and in some cases, the uh, flash blindness that could occur from these devices require and force the flying pilot to turn over the controls immediately to the non-flying pilot. Are there any other options? Is autopilot an option? Because like some pilots have, have claimed that they're blinded for a few seconds here. Uh, I mean, what is the, the initial reaction for pilots? The FAA is beginning to look at this and, and talk in terms of training procedures. Uh, the carriers are looking at it very carefully. The Air Force has put out a, a video for its pilots. Uh, they did that in 2009. So there is a great deal of interest in what can be done to, one, uh, enforce rules and regulations to make sure people don't do this malicious, uh, ridiculous kind of behavior. But this is serious, and something needs to be done about it. What are your thoughts, though, uh, on making this a, a federal offense punishable by up to five years? I'm fully supportive of this type of uh, statute. Now, we do have a, a number of rules and, and laws in the various states that enable the state and local authorities to make arrests in these cases. But this is a serious issue. Sometime, someday, it could create a catastrophic event. Mark Rosenker, thank you for taking the time and speaking with us this morning. Good to talk with you.